the Capitals are just, it's the team that everyone wants to play for. You know, they're the most successful team in the history of the WNBL, but it, it goes beyond that. It's their professionalism, it's the way they go about things. It's, you know, the Capitals train more than any other team in the league. I mean, that's, that's just the way it is. We train longer and we train more. And um, although sometimes I want to whinge and, and moan about that, um, you know, that's what gets us our results. And when you've got people in the club like Carrie Graff, you know, and, and all the people and our support staff and, and great people want to come to Canberra. And when they come here, they stay. Uh, and, you know, I think that's a credit to the, to the Capitals and the club. Your coach sounds like a total slave driver. <laughs> Mariana Tolo, also part of the CAP setup. Uh, you started your basketball career in Mackay as a youngster, so you've come through the whole Australian basketball system. Senator Lundy spoke earlier about the girls that are dropping out of sport in their teenage years. What is it that sets players like you three apart that make you continue to play, you become elite players and you excel? Um, I guess it, that's, that's a good question and that's something that we're trying to look for to, I guess, to aim to get everyone else to be involved like we were. But um, for me, I guess it was commitment. I know a lot of girls my age when I was younger in Mackay just dropped out, like we were saying before. And um, having good support staff around you, good family, good friends and teammates and people that you want to be around every day and coaches helping you, it makes it so much easier and, and such a better experience that you want to keep coming back and you get so much more as well as giving um, so much to the sport. We spoke brief, briefly about uh, Yitka Klimkova and of course it was, you are quite modest about it, but it was you that tracked her down at the Women's World Cup in, uh, in Germany to bring her over here. Um, she has had an impact on the club, but for all these years, Canberra United, is it's been your baby. It's been something you've set up. And I don't think I would be alone in saying Canberra has set the benchmark in the W League. Um, I've not been to another club when we do a broadcast that issues you, issues you with a match program that you can call them and their media guy can actually tell you which position their players play in. And they're, they're really up to speed. What is it about Canberra United? Well, I think first of all, we have a commitment from the board of Canberra Football has the licence for uh, Henry United. Um, if you don't know, the W League, the West School W League uh, model is based on an A League model. So um, teams in the W League are sort of linked with Sydney FC, Brisbane Roar, etc. Canberra doesn't have a team in the A League, so we have to negotiate and fight quite hard with the FFA to give Canberra a, a, a licence for the W League in their own right. And we were only able to do that because the board of Capital Football said we fully support this, we're committed to girls and women's football development, um, and, and we will take the financial risk. Um, fortunately, uh, after four seasons, we are a standalone um, financially supportable club. We don't rely on um, needing to have our junior registered players or any other registered players supported the club. We have great sponsors, we have government support, and we have good merchandise and uh, some great takings to support that. Um, the model is um, very simply based on a very core, dedicated group of players, which I've got into before some of them here tonight, um, and people who understand what it means to provide opportunities for girls and women in a very traditional way of dominating um, sport. Um, it happens to be a sport that is um, led by a woman, and we've been privileged to have something like Senator Kate Lundy as the chair of our management committee for the last four years and like And uh, indeed. 
And with the not so happy news this week that the Perth Glory owner is uh, saying that he does not want to fund his uh, women's W League team over in Perth, nor the National Youth League team, um, it was delightful to hear earlier that you've been asked to uh, present with FFA what you do and what you've done to make Canberra a success. So congratulations on that, Heather, because you are a, a shining light in W League.